Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to another Fort William. Just want to say before we get going, thank massive thank you to David Sigurdsson for sending me not only this beanie, which is I'm not sure how it's pronounced, Icelandic team Valur. Valur. We'll go for that. And also this one, right? I'll show it to you. Okay. And I was like, what is that? What does that say? And I was like, is that a football team? Is that a football team? And I eventually found it after much Google searching and different variations. Is that a K at the beginning? Is that an R? Is that an A second letter? And it is an Icelandic beer. And you can visit them. You can visit their brewery if you want. You have to, you have to, you know, fill in a name and address and stuff. But you can go visit them. So thank you very much, David. That is very, very kind of you. And to celebrate the new beanies and our channeling of smaller teams in Europe. We beat Edinburgh City 1-0. Big Pollocks. Normally I wouldn't even celebrate this, but this was massive because that's that gave us a little bit of a a little bit of wiggle room this season. We're now four points hefty four points clear of the relegation playoffs. Um we have had to come straight back because, you know, just a little cheeky little Scottish quarter final cup thingy. Um against Livingston who are sitting 7th in the league, in the Premier League, that is. <clears throat> They're doing okay. Let's have a look at their recent form. Undefeated for four games. Just beat St. Johnston 5-1, drew with Rangers. Okay, it's going to be an ask, my friends, but we should make some money from it, win or lose. Uh, we've got one and a half million, so we'll keep an eye on that. Um, <clears throat> we're going to go with Big Pollocks up front. He's found himself a goal. Hopefully the drought, he is the devil. Uh, 6.66. Uh, do we go Nace Smith? Or do we give Dukes a game? Like, There's not many players currently in form at the football club. This is one of our problems. I think we kind of just go with... Got Barney back in. Barney's in form because he, he was born in form. Right. So we want Celtic to win. We'll win. And then we'll, we'll play... No, we'll play Rangers in the semi-final. Beat them. And then we'll play Celtic in the final and obviously beat them. That's Basically, that's my plan going forward, lads. All right? <clears throat> we do need the cash. <laughs> because this season, we've not... It's safe to say we've not really progressed this season. Even when we were sort of <clears throat> in League One, even when we got stuck in a division for a bit, every season, you saw the progress happening. So you were like, okay, I can live with this. We're getting better every year. We're getting closer every year. Last year we made a shit ton of money. We've made some money this year. But it'll be nice to, even if we don't do dramatic things in the league this year, that we will at least make some profit, make some cash, which is obviously the long-term build-up of the club. <clears throat> okay. Not much. Look at this. Look at this. Dominating them. Dominating them. <clears throat> Here we go. Goal time. Right. Second balls, that's got to win the second balls. That's it, pressure him, pressure him, booga, 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 booga. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Right. Okay. It's not going well. It's McGuigan. Almost an own goal. Nothing to worry about, boys. A little bit of nerves. That's fine, it's expected. I can't believe we can't even fill the stadium for games like this. Oh, it's their stadium. Is it their stadium? Looks just like our stadium. Did we just borrow the same yellow paint for our stadium? <clears throat> oh, Barney, he's motivated. I'm damn happy with this half. We were never going to smash him. We need to just eke out a cheeky little win. Come on, Mackie D's into black, into the abyss. I'm going to give him some praise. The old nil-nil praise. Oh, I've overwhelmed people. I've overwhelmed them. Do we have anybody that's going to really... Erskine, if we need a goal, Erskine's a good option. Pollux is playing shit and he's overwhelmed. Right. That's good enough for me. <clears throat> Come on, boys. Come on. Just need one chance. Rangers are losing, by the way. Against Dunfermlin. Here we go. Oh, you're not even challenging for the ball. 
Right, Slims, Fat Man Slims, McBride, Spragia. Well, don't give away a penalty, don't make it. Oh, he's missed the header. 72 minutes gone, and McBride has scored. He's got a fucking bird's nest on his head. Okay. All right. This was my plan all along. Erskine. You go there. You can go on attack. You go there. We go. Might as well go for this. Very attacking. Fuck him up. That's the fuck him up button, if you're wondering. It says get stuck in, but we all know it's fuck him up. Um... Right. Do we want to go longer? Just trying to think of, we've not really got any big men up front, but I don't want to sort of piss about with it at the back. Fuck it. Um, boo, boo, boo. Don't worry about the overlaps. Just get it in the box, lads. Get it in the box. We'll play a little bit wider. Um, okay. They're already on attack. Okay, come on, boys. Come on. One chance. One chance. Please, one chance. Oh, they're disinterested. Cup semi-final. They're disinterested. All oh, makes sense, yeah. Push forward, boys. We're just not going to... Oh, okay. Counter-attack. It's not, it's not a counter-attack, is it? I've got Spradgy on my short. Why have I got? Is he really good? I've got him on my shortlist. Did we have him? Have I had a brain fart? I think I've just always had him on because he was contract was running out or something. Yeah, he's doing alright. I think. I don't think we will afford him anytime soon. Ah. Oh. Well. Fucking <laughs> hell. <know. laughs> all right, come on now, game. Oh, Adams. What is that, mate? What is that? Oh, jelly fingers. Hit straight at him, and he manages to, to shuffle it into the back of the net. Oh, you've been watching too much David De Gea, haven't you, mate? Right. Okay, not ideal with a 3-0, but it's still a very successful season in the Cup. We made a bit of money. Hopefully, we'll get a bit of pity losers money, which we could do with it. Give us, you know, give us... 100k. We're not going to make a massive amount of money from the crowd. <laughs> uh, they've got a very small stadium and they've not filled it. So that's not that's not going to look good. So I don't think 100k for losers. Give us 80k. Right. 100k total. 1.6 million. Go on, Black. He's still trying. Bless him. Okay, lads. I'm going to say... Uh, I knew they were going to turn off, but I do appreciate their efforts. So I was not going to go against what the right thing to say was, even though I knew they were going to hate that. They were unlucky. They they gave it their best shot. Oh, that's a kick in the testicles, isn't it? 21 grand. We made like 60 grand off that. It's all about it's all about who you draw, isn't it? <laughs> that's not ideal. So we played a team that was considerably better than us, but also had... No fans and no stadium. So so not ideal. Um yeah, that's a bit of a a bit of a bum. Um lack of his playing time. It's because you're old and not very good and your contract's running out. So yeah. Just there we go. Sorted. Sorted. Okay. Right. We've got more important things to worry about, boys, like relegation. Now we just got a simple game against away against top of the league. Should be easy. So youth intake, don't get excited. <laughs> youth, youth intake day, we've got every reason to be excited by Kyle Burgoyne, who has the potential to be one of the most gifted players to come through the youth ranks at Fort William in recent years. I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh. Not to mention he's English, don't know how he's snuck in. Um, yeah, two and a half star potential, lads. Yeah, gifted players in recent years. Got good reflexes and handling. He's good at rushing out. He's crap at one-on-ones, but he can rush out. So, 
that's good. Moving swiftly on. The most annoying thing about that youth intake day was that some, quite a lot of the time they'll tell you who the most gifted player is and he's actually not. There was other players that are better. No, he actually was. He, he, he was the best one. So good times. Um, right. Okay. Top of the league. Um, Shuttle has four crossing and he's right footed. So I'm controversially not going to play him as a left winger. All right. Dukes. Okay. And Donald. Black's doing pretty well, though. Sutherland is, is improving again. He's had a great season. Patson's playing shit. Oh, God. Marshall's terrible, though, isn't he? Anybody else want to play left back? Okay. No, we're just going to have to see it out <laughs> with Patterson. At least he's young and he's getting experience. We'll go with that. <clears throat> All right. Shanks is playing terribly as well. And he's also leaving at the end of the season. So, fuck him. Uh, Craig Adams had a bit of a shocker, but he can't be as bad again. That's that's the logic I'm going with. He can't be that bad again. We'll go with Big Pollocks. <clears throat> They're going 4-4-2. Not expecting anything from this one. We've had a ropey season, and they are quite good at the footballs. They're, they're, they're at least six points ahead of us in the league. It's like rounding, rounding down. Um, they are... Oh, double. Exactly double the points of us in the league. So, fingers crossed. <laughs> we gave Livingston a game for like half of football before we ran out of energy. Oh, Black's been yellow carded. That's not ideal. We'll take him off at half time. Don't want the old ball winning midfielder running about doing stupid stuff. Edinburgh City have gone up to seventh. They're making a run for it. Old Edinburgh City. Oh, that's straight through the back of him. Sue Perkins, you dirty player. I always knew she had it in her. <clears throat> okay. Come on, boys. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yes, Adams. Yes. Good save, son. <clears throat> I'm going to... Um, David Sigurdsson, I'm blaming this. If we lose and get a double loss today, I am blaming the hat. Okay, I'm blaming you and the hat. Don't do... Oh, that's... Don't play it back to the centre-back when there's a striker standing next to him. I feel like I shouldn't need to tell you this, mate. We, we, we're, not, we're not very good at the foot. <laughs> we're not very good at the footballs here, lads. Um, latest scores. Hello, latest scores. Um, they're 1-0 up. St Mirren are 3-1 up. Okay, I'll take a draw in a heartbeat. Well done, boys. Well played. Um... Donald, you're in. You're in. It's not been the most exciting two games of football we've seen. But if we can pluck a little draw, Clyde are... Do we... There's, they're nine points behind us. So I'm, I feel like we don't need to worry too much about Clyde. Oh, Edinburgh have conceded. We want to make sure A, lose. That's important. That's very important. They're the most important team that we have to pray a shit at football. And luckily, they are shit at football, so bonus. All right. Erskine. I'm going to make bring on Shuttleworth. Chuck him as a little cheeky little inside forwardy. See if he can get himself a goal. Here we go. Is it please be our highlight? Yes, this is our highlight. Patterson. Good ball across. Penalty. I'm desperate. I'm desperate. Go on! Oh, he, oh, he had so much time. Oh, he could have chested it down, had a sandwich and an iron brew, and still scored. Oh, good pluckage. Good pluckage, Adams. Ten minutes left. Oh, we should have scored. Careful, careful. Go on, chase him down. This is... this. What's going on there, boys? That's it. Make him hoof it. Close him down. Widders. Oh, he's missed the header. Oh, there's a man. He's free as a bird, but he didn't use him. Perkins cuts inside. It's the Gilmore girls. Plays it back out to Irving. Oh, it's a good header. Get there. Block it. Block it. Throw your lives on the line. Bodies on the line. 
McCormack. Oh my! Oh no! Not not the slide tackle pass. Oh, it's his first ever goal for the club. Of course it is. Of course it is. Not the slide tackle pass of well anything else. Anything else than the the slide tackle pass. Oh, tits. Okay, at least they are going to win. Okay, Edinburgh are winning again. Uh, they are going to lose, rather. Edinburgh can fuck off now. They do what they like, okay? It's all about Air United and how terrible they are at football. Can we be slightly less terrible at football than Air United? That is the theme for the rest of the season. It's not a bad result against top of the league, to be fair. We, didn't, we had one good chance that we didn't put away. They only had a couple, and they did. That's why they're top of the league and have twice as many points as us, I guess. <sighs> so, yeah, I'm blaming the hat, David. It's the hat's fault. I'm going to try. Next episode, I'll try your beer, Icelandic beer hat. Um, and if basically, I'm going to sack you. If if we lose both games then, then that definitely is fault and you're going to get sacked, right? As a Loki Ultra, you're sacked as a Loki Ultra. Right, my friends, there we go. Two losses and a shitty intake day. Woo! Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.